This is Cruise Control Weekly. In the next few minutes, you'll hear all about the car cruises, car clubs, and car shows in the western Pennsylvania area. And here's your host, Jim Zufall. And welcome to the very first edition of Cruise Control Weekly. What is Cruise Control Weekly, you ask? Well, this show will attempt to bring you up to speed completely with everything going on in western Pennsylvania having to do with car cruises, car shows, car uh, auctions, swap meets, everything having to do with the car collector hobby here in the western Pennsylvania area. One of the very first events that happens before anything happens in western Pennsylvania is to go to the Butler Area Street Machine Association town hall meeting. Town hall meeting happens every year around uh, mid-March this year. It was the 22nd of March and it was the third annual event. Butch Rocco, Frank Smith and a whole bunch of folks from the Butler area street machines put this on every year. A couple of hundred people come, show up, get to hear about car cruises, car events, swap meets that will happen all throughout 2008. We were there, our cameras were there and we're going to find out just what happened in Butler at town hall 2008. We're here at the uh, Racers Go-Kart Park here in Butler County, Pennsylvania for the third annual Basma Butler Area Street Machine Association Town Hall Meeting. This is an event for all sorts of people involved in the car hobby, whether it be car cruises, car events, swap meets, and vendors of all sorts. People are here from all over the place as we look around the hall today. There are just so many people here. We're going to hear from a whole bunch of speakers tonight and a number of folks who were involved not only with car cruises, but car in the whole car industry here in the western Pennsylvania area. Just a few minutes, we're going to talk to some of the promoters. We'll listen to a number of the speakers here and uh, get a little bit of a feel for what this event is all about. One of the speakers to come join us at Town Hall Meeting on March 22nd was John Shapiro of Cruise and Times Magazine. John explained how his magazine, which is based in central Ohio, can point people in the right direction in terms of car cruises and car shows, but also he outlined the ways that you can have your car featured in Cruise and Times Magazine. Big Al from Big Al's List also joined us at Town Hall Meeting to talk about his website, BigAlsList.com. BigAlsList.com is a, a way that people in all around western Pennsylvania, central Ohio, and eastern Indiana can find a car cruise, car show, car event of any sort in their area. Another website people can use to find car events in their area is CarCruises.com. CarCruises.com is based right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Vito Capasio came and joined us to talk all about his website, CarCruises.com. Dave Errett from Dave and Ed's Auto Events showed up to talk about his events in Canfield and Canton, Ohio. I had the opportunity to speak about Pittsburgh parts Arama. Jim and Linda Bauer were in attendance, and uh, they brought some literature that I was able to show to the folks about one of the largest swap meets in the western Pennsylvania area every year at the Butler County Fairgrounds. Michael Schindel of the Flashlight Drags came to talk about the drag racing that his organization puts on at, l at small community airports around western Pennsylvania. Dan Del Bianco of the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix was on hand. He talked about the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, which is in its 26th season in 2008. It is the largest vintage car race in the country. Frank Tedesco of the Tedesco family, current owners of Pittsburgh Raceway Park, talked a lot about how they took the old Keystone Raceway Park in New Alexandria, spent a couple of million dollars there, and have rehabbed it to one of the premier drag racing facilities in the entire area. Brian Cayaza came to Town Hall in 2008 to talk about the Steel Valley Nationals. Other cruises that the crowd got to hear about at Town Hall 2008 included a muscular dystrophy cruise, the All Hemi Invitational Reunion, the Spotlight 88 Flea Market, the GTO Club's cruises and events for this year, the Pace Camaro Club and all of the events that they're involved in this year, as well as a number of other events that will be happening all throughout the 2008 season. A very special speaker came to Town Hall Meeting to talk about the Butler County Food Bank. Deb Gold, who's one of the folks that runs the Butler County Food Bank, came to Town Hall 2008 and talked about some of the services they provide to folks in the Butler County area. BASMA, the Butler Area Street Machine Association, who was the host club of Town Hall Meeting 2008, has also chosen this year to support the Butler County Food Bank uh, with all of their events and the things that they do during the 2008 season. When the town hall meeting was over, I had an opportunity to talk to Butch Rocco, the organizer of the event. Butch talked first about putting the event together. It takes a lot of time to get through all the programs and get the speakers up here, 
give away the door prizes, give a little bit of break time, let the people get around to all of the vendors and the promoters at their table and spend some time with them. And, you know, I allotted the five-hour period of time thinking that I'm not so sure that's enough or not, but, you know, lo and behold, it went through just as it planned. We ad-libbed a few things, and any of the mistakes we made, we overcame them. Everybody seemed to enjoy it, and I think everybody got something out of it. He told me how the vendor display areas worked out. Uh, last year, when and, and another uh, group put it on because I couldn't put it on, I did the first initial one, and then I couldn't do it last year, but they had all the vendors and presenters at one little row of table in the corner, the tables in the corner, and that was their biggest complaint was they couldn't, they couldn't get people to come over and talk with them, and that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to be on an individual basis, so we made it a little circle so they could just walk around and stop at whatever little island table they wanted to, what, what the event was, what they were putting on, and it worked out well. I asked him, why do you hold this event? Uh, you know, it's a fun thing. You know, I did it for these vendors and the people. 90% of the people in this room are my friends. I know them through business, I knew them from car related, car cruises, parts meet, Dave and Ed uh, from Dave and Ed's are personal friends, Jim Bowers personal friends, John Shapiro personal friends, half the audience I go to car cruises and talk with them. I, I know most of these people. I did this for them, you know what I'm saying? And finally, Butch told me about the one special person he invites every year. I send a personal invitation to Jay Leno, honest to God in an envelope, a personal invitation, and I put a little note in there. I said, Jay, I know you're a car nut, and you think you got the greatest cars. I said, but come over to Western Pennsylvania, East Ohio. We'll show you some great cars. You're invited. Come show up. Well, he didn't, of course, but his publicist or somebody from his office called, called me, said, we received your letter. This looks like a great event. He's booked up for weekend, or he would have probably been there. So maybe next year, but that, I thought that was something for them to, him to think this is a great event. Eastern Pennsylvania, one of the best areas for car cruises and events, and this event here starts off the car cruise season every single year. I want to thank Butch Rocco, the whole Basma Car Club, and uh, frankly, uh, all of them for inviting me to MC this event tonight. I had a great time here tonight. We're going to talk to all of you again next time on Cruise Control Weekly. Before we wrap up the initial broadcast of Cruise Control Weekly, we wanted to bring you out here to the Wexford Starlight Car Cruise, or the scene of the Wexford Starlight Car Cruise. We're, of course, in the parking lot of Northway Christian Community Church, the host of the Starlight Car Cruise. I'm standing in what is normally the vendor area. If you can remember the vendor area, right to the front of the church. What's now behind me, what used to be the vendor area, is now gone. The parking area that was also adjacent to the vendor's uh, row is also missing, and what we have instead is a giant steel structures where the to the building is going to go. What you can't see is up to my left is a brand new parking area to complement with the original parking area that we already had for the cruise. Over here to my right is the original parking lot. Up to my left is, of course, the brand new parking area. We'll keep you up to date on Cruise Control Weekly as to all the construction updates. We'll keep you in touch with how things are going as we approach the May 23rd opening of the Wexford Starlight Car Cruise. So until next time, this is Jim Zufall for Cruise Control Weekly. That's it for this week's edition of Cruise Control Weekly. Be sure to join us next time when we get you up to speed on car cruises, car clubs, car shows, and everything in between. To see archived programs, go to youtube.com slash cruise control weekly. This is Hirsch for Cruise Control Weekly. Be careful in the hot rod.